a few years ago when the, the baths were run by Leeds City Council and they were threatened with closure. Um, members of the local community stepped up to campaign um, with the schools and politicians um, locally to keep the baths open. The keys were handed over from the council on the 20th of December 2012 and we opened the doors um, on the 1st of January 2013 um, and have been running it ever since. So we've got 13 schools that use us now who are all local, so we're always trying to work with our local community um, and to take on board their comments and suggestions for improvements. Um, so hopefully they see it as a true partnership. Unfortunately, we're not able to generate enough of a surplus to be able to look after the building and do large refurbishments. So we're now at the point where we've, we've gone from having 400 children on our swimming programme in 2013 to nearly 900 now. So there's lots and lots of activity in the building. Um, lots of people are using us, but we now need to be able to invest in the changing facilities and showers, um, and disable changing rooms and bring it up to spec. I love it. You know, just get that vibe when you walk in, you're like, oh, like the colours, like the stained glass, the actual structure of the place, it's just, I love it. It's just, I think as well, like, like with swimming pools now, there's not many of these buildings left. So a lot of them are just, you know, looking modern. Um, but when you have something like this, which is obviously like an asset, effectively to, to the community of Bramley it's and you won't think that this is in Bramley it's just it's wonderful. We have uh, a studio we have the gym fully functional gym so we've got cardio theatre um, free weights and also pin loaded machines. What we're wanting to do is we're wanting to kind of like stray away from being you know just a, a standard leisure centre obviously our purpose is to serve the community and because of that we want to put on fun events. Um, in 2013 we did two swim along cinemas so our first one was screened Finding Nemo and Jaws in March 2013 and the second one we did Ghostbusters for Halloween. I think it's a very passionate and loyal place. People are very proud of what they do. They're keen to look after Bramley Baths as a historic asset. Um, and there's just a real warmth about this place that I really love. <laughs>